Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, second part of the videos about achievements for the Stardust project. So in the previous episode we made a robust achievement system that allows us to create achievements, display those achievements. So this is nice. And also now we will be dealing with the multi-level thing. Because we do want to see how those multi-level achievements work. So here I'm going to take this achievement to Stardust Creator. And I will update it so that it takes in a few levels. So the first thing that comes to my mind is that we will need to save the level of the achievement. right? So here I'm going to create a new variable which is going to be achievement 02 level. I will type this int and initialize it to 0. In the previous episode, I forgot to just turn this off, this should load thing. So now, there we go. We can create new saves without having to delete this save file. All right. So we created a level in there. So here we actually need to create a variable which will reflect that level. I'm going to initialize it to zero. And when I load the save, actually, I will load this. So level is going to be equal to game ref data achievements and achievement zero to level. So now we grab the level here. So what will happen basically is that we will need to create various thresholds to reach. So what I will do uh, is I will make a list of goals. So instead of having one integer, I will have an array of integers. And I will initialize it to a hundred, a thousand, and ten thousand. All right. So here the goal has changed. So a few things will not work anymore. So I'm just going to replace goal here by goal list with the level as an index like this. So this way, at the moment, we should have all the previously go um, properties be equal to this 100 here. But there are a few things which we need to update, right? So we need to update this on go rich, right? Because right now, um, this will not complete the achievement. Instead, it will level the achievement up. So maybe I can add a max level. It's going to be a constant. So I'm going to add a constant here which is going to be max level. And here it's going to be one, two, three. So we will have max level equal three. All right. So here on go rich, riched, um, what we will do. So we must level up. Okay, so maybe we can create a function um, level up. So when we level up, what we want to do basically is increase level by one. We want to reset the progress to zero. And we actually don't need to change the goal because we do have a list. 
In fact, we could have a local goal. I don't think it's necessary. Right, so we'll just keep this uh, thing. Right, so here it will go to level one and level two, and then it will reach level three, and there will be no requirement anymore. So here, that's just what we do when we level up. And when we do level up, we will also save those properties that we updated. So here the progress value is going to be equal to zero and the level is going to be equal to level. So achievements dot level equal level. So here this we can get rid of. And instead, what we will be doing is have a level up thing. And then what we'll make a check, which is if level is equal or superior to three, then we will proceed to on completion. Or completion. That would be better. So this is going away. And here I'm going to create a new function, which is going to be completion. So on completion, what do we want to do? Basically, everything that I removed, so completed will become true. Game.ref.data the achievements that achievement two completed will be true as well. Here, I will disconnect the signal. So we have handler stardust, if I remember correctly, dot ref dot stardust created. And we want to disconnect this from on stardust created. So we disconnect the signal and completed. We have achievement completed. We want to emit this. Okay. Also, we might want to, do we want to have a third signal? Yes, I guess we do. So here I'm going to go in achievements uh, in the abstract one. And I will add a signal achievement leveled up like this so that now when there's a level up here we can have this achievement level up signal emitted all right so yeah we need now to take care of the progress as well because the progress was returning um, the progress value because it was between 0 and 100 but now it's a little bit different because it can go up to a thousand so what I will do is instead of returning just progress value we will return progress value multiplied by 100 and divided by the goal, right? But we want float. Um, how am I gonna get a float in there? The progress value. And here, I think I need to cast this as a float and that's gonna be goal lists level. Righty. I believe that this should work. So here we grab the percentage of progression. All right. So maybe we can just try this. Oh, that's one thing we need to do because it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to add um, the level in here. Very 
roughly, but I just want to have the level appearing so that we know which level is this thing. Also, wait a second, we need to go in the achievement there. And we want to be connecting the achievement level up. So when we have a level up, we want to connect to a new method. So here we will have on achievement level up. There's going to be a void. And we will just change those two things, right? Just to be sure. As well as the progress bar. Right. So now we have this. I can connect on achievement level up. And at the end, disconnected. Achievements level up. Wait, not really. Achievements dot achievements level up dot disconnect. Now we disconnect the signal from the method and we're good. Okay. So let's try this. So we begin by creating the universe. So here we have status created zero. So let's prove the rate at which we create stardusts. Right. Where's the achievement? So it's progressing. It's fine. And now it's level one and it's going back to its first stage. And we keep creating stardust. All right. So it can be quite lengthy. Do I want to check this? Yes, I will wait. But why this is actually producing stardust? Um, I will discuss the next thing. So, someone was quite uh, asking for both achievements and prestige, but I'm not sure that we can handle those two things on the same feature um, because. You get a currency usually with prestige, you get a currency, but that would mean resetting the achievements on prestige, which is not really what I want to do right now. Um, instead, for example, universe creator um, could have different levels because when you reset the game, you create a new universe, right? So you um, could increase the achievement and you need it to keep the data between each reset. But we can think about a resource or a currency which could be generated based on achievements being completed. So we could do that eventually. But I have no idea what could be that resource and what that resource would do. So I guess I will just show you what could be done. So if you want to do something like this, uh, you will be able to explore this idea. But right now in my game here, it doesn't make, make much sense. All right, so the way it would work. So obviously you would have to create a handler for that resource. That's the basics but yeah you would go in your achievements there and in the on completion of that achievement you would simply add a line that would instruct the creation of that resource it's actually that simple here in the achievement 2 with the different levels this would happen when the achievement levels up here you would add a, a line that would add a currency. And if you want to, for example, um, add an increasing amount of currency, you could have something like a reward list. So this would be an array 
of integers again and you would have something like one three five or one two five maybe i don't know um, the idea is that you have an increase of resource and each level up you use that value based on the level that you have If you want to be using uh, the level itself, right? Because for example, let's say that you level up to one, then if the line comes after the level up, then you are you will have one. So it's this value, right? This value is zero. So eventually you could add a zero at the beginning if you want to. If you don't want to have those level minus one, but that's really, really, really up to you. So anyway. Right, so we have a little problem here that arised when we had this thing. So here, I guess we should make a simple check, which is if the level is three, then we return a hundred. Right, so let's have this. Um, so this is if level is superior or equal to three. Well, actually, to max level. Right. Uh, we can return a hundred, otherwise return this. And here actually we had this thing with level and number three, yes, right there. So here we can change this to max level as well. All right, so let's save and start the game again. Oh no, it didn't save. Maybe I, I have still time. Okay, all right, seems good. Start as creator three, but we can check the increase again, right? So I'm gonna do it this differently. I'm gonna put that on uh, false, and I will change the Stardust generation speed. There we go, it works fine. So yeah, I think that's going to be all I'd be doing in this video. So yeah, I guess, I don't know why I expected this to be so much longer. So this could have been part of the previous video, really just bad timing, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, maybe in the next episode, we will be dealing with uh, the notion of prestige. Um, not that I planned to do it for this game, but I think it's something that uh, many people might be interested in. It's been requested and that's part of a lot of idol games. So we will do that. All right. So yeah, very quick episode. Hope you like that. And I will see you in the next one. Uh, see, see you later.